What are we making? A squirrel and rabbit pot pie? Yeah, yeah. Must have been a big squirrel. <laughs> Hello there hobby homesteaders. So today it's kind of too cold to do any work. So we're gonna go hunting. We've actually been wanting to get the air gun out and do a little bit of small game hunting. And season ends, I think the 31st of January. So uh, we just got a couple days left. So we thought if we're gonna do it, we probably better get out and do it. So Cameron has got the gun laid out. He's getting ready to pump it up. And we're gonna shoot a few shots just to make sure that we're, uh, we're tuned in enough that we can hit something and then we'll go out and see what we can find. So we've had a little bit of trouble getting pellets because the places that we try to order from, they're either sold out or uh, if you look on Amazon, they're twice the price. So uh, the, these that we ordered are 13.43 grains, so they're not really as heavy as what we wanted. So we're going to shoot a round of those and see where they're hitting. We've got some of the 15.8 grain uh, left, probably about 100 of those. So we're going to finish those off before we do any change into the tuning of the gun or anything. But I picked up a thousand of those JSB exact 13.43 uh, grain. So we'll give those a shot after we've used up the others and see how they do. Um, Fairly low. Yeah, a little low. Yeah. Um, I'd shoot those low. lighter ones because they may be a little bit lighter. They may shoot right on. And these are the 13.4s. Mm -hmm. okay. Now guys, a lot of you have been commenting suggestions on what you do to dial yours in and things you do to shoot more accurately, the supplies you're using, the, you know, the pellets, the settings and all of that. And we really appreciate that. We're trying our best to take some of that advice and, and get a little bit better at this. Um, feel free to keep commenting, letting us know what you think and giving us suggestions. Um, that way we can all kind of learn this together. Better. It's about 19 degrees right now. Uh, yeah, 19 degrees is what it says on my watch. It was 7 when we woke up this morning, so we've been trying to give it a little bit of time to warm up. Seems like you can get some uh, some movement out of the squirrels when it gets up in the 20s, but uh, I don't know. It's, it's awful cold still, so hopefully we'll have a little bit of luck when we get out there. Yeah, so those two right there are the ones you kind of finished dialing it in on. So still a little bit to the right, and then he moved it to that one right there, and that's where he ended up. So yeah. That'll be good enough to kill a squirrel. All right, so you're gonna load up 30 of the 13 grain. Yeah. yeah. Now you gonna taxidermy your squirrel like Kendall did? If I did, I'd probably do a better job. <laughs> I was getting ready to say, I don't know if I'd do that good. And Mammy's like, I don't want that. <laughs> I didn't <either. laughs> Got the hunting rigs all ready to go. Got the, uh, I don't know, 1994 Kawasaki Bayou 400 four wheel drive. She leaks a little oil, but outside of that, she's a cherry. A yeah, little, little bit of oil action right there. Still runs good. And this one, well, this one has uh, encountered its share of trees. Uh, more than once, it's been crammed into a tree. We. Uh, hooked a chain to a stump and got the tractor and kind of pulled it back out, welded some new bars on there. And I think the uh, the diff mounts broke down in there. It don't have brakes, but that might explain why it's also encountered several trees. But it's a Honda, so it starts. It burns a little oil. Oh yeah, <laughs> she used a little oil. If it burns oil, that means it has oil. That's right. This one just leaves the puddles on the garage floor. I might ought to tighten the jug down a little bit. I think it's leaking out of the side of the cylinder. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? This is Roxanne, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, what are you doing? You're on the wrong side of the road. 
Yeah. Ah, uh, I see you. Yeah, you want some attention, don't you? Yeah. I'm getting adventurous. Yes, you here. you have been adventurous, haven't you? Yeah. All right, you better go back home. Your cow's gonna miss you. Scared all the squirrels off now. Your majestic mullet blowing in the breeze there. Wasn't that your claim to fame? Cletus once told you your mullet was majestic. majestic. Adjusting your cheater bar. Right. Yeah. Let's go kill some supper. What are we making? A squirrel and rabbit pot pie? Well, probably squirrel or rabbit pot pie. We hope we could, but... Looks like we could make some. Uh, feral Maybe. cat pot pie. <laughs> These are dog prints, huh. I think. Yeah, those are. Coyote soup. Fox here. The card in our camera corrupted, so we can't check it and see. predators and we actually have a few acres on the other side of the highway over there so if we don't have any luck over here we may cross over there and check that out a little bit and see if there's anything over there one day Cameron came up here to check his trap and the bobcat was right here on this log walked her got right across just like that and took off apparently still around What'd you pump it up to? About 3,400. And what'd it settle to? Right over 3,000. Yeah. So he was saying he might as well put just a little bit extra in it since it was so cold he figured it would settle down and it did by several hundred PSI. So, oh, there's a hawk. Just a couple of hawks stalking our chickens. Nothing to see here. <laughs> For us. They are. My butt was freezing to the log, so I'm trying to talk him into doing a little more movement. Try to walk the loop, maybe. Ah, nothing to it. Slicker than snot on a doorknob on Sunday. Slicker than snot on a doorknob on Sunday. Because my doorknob's not as slicker on Sundays. <laughs> the old man stick there. A little bit of action going down here. I think it's a little bit of leftover deer hide. This is probably why we aren't seeing them. Is that? Yeah. Squirrel tracks with the little tail dragging threat. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. But he went down that way. Yeah. 
That's interesting. I like seeing all this stuff in the snow. This is cool. And all of this is last night because this is the fresh snow that was falling yeah. about dark last night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got to be bear. It's got to be a big guy. Not bear the animal, bear the neighbor's dog. Pond looking pretty good. She's pretty frozen. Yeah. But there's rabbit tracks on the dam down here. Oh, yeah. Rabbit's been all over here. Look at this. Come right across the pond. She's pretty thick. It would support you now. I ain't going across it, but. <laughs> wow. That's, it's only like two inches thick right here, but or two inches deep right here, but that scared me. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Did you see me jump? Yeah, them them dogs or whatever run right across the middle of it. <laughs> I think I think I got a little wet. Like, it didn't go in my boots, so I think I'll be all right, but. <laughs> oh, no, I feel it. Yeah, yeah, I ain't. It may be just a few drops. As long as we don't stop moving, I'll be all right. <laughs> I won't lose more than one or two toes. I could feel it coming. I didn't think that it would be quite as deep right there as it was. I figured it was only a couple inches, but yeah, it went about boot deep. Like, it wasn't like I was in danger because there's no drop off there. There's no, you know, and it was, I knew it wasn't more than a few inches deep. Who's got the wet paint leg now? <laughs> oh yeah, my coveralls are probably already about froze back. <laughs> I think there was just like a small splash went over the side of my boot. So I feel just a little bit of moisture down in there, but it's not bad. We for sure got a bobcat this morning. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Right. That was the other day. Oh, that's a good one. At 9.50 this morning. Yeah, man, he was all over the place too. Yeah. Wow. And it's gone, it looks like. Yeah. Right at sunrise, basically. I don't I don't know what the answer is. They're, they're not right here and uh, I think we need to be moving otherwise the uh, water in my boots gonna freeze uh, so yeah well, you shouldn't have got on the pond <laughs> probably shouldn't have stepped boot deep into the pond live and learn lose a few toes you, you know you won't do that again Cameron's afraid of the hill over there he says it's really steep well it's a really far hike and it's a really big hill and he's the one not carrying the gun. Yeah, but I'm also the one with a boot full of water. 19 degrees. This is survival, man. I mean, if we want some squirrel pot pie. Sacrifices are gonna have to be made. Pinky toes are gonna have to be lost. And squirrels like hardwood trees. Yeah. And hardwood trees make nuts. Squirrels like nuts. If there's no nuts in the trees right now. Couple nuts in the woods. Yeah, trying to kill a squirrel when there's no squirrel to be killed. We did get a nice picture of Bobcat though. We think mullet. I think it's a waste of time right now. I mean, you need the exercise. As much as you do. Oh. You know what'd be good? Lunch. Yeah. I'm hungry. Just think we only got to hike about two and a half more miles before we can go back and eat. <laughs> I'm walking all the way over there. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're doing. That's where we're headed. That's where the squirrels are. Oh, dang. Yeah, the squirrels are on top of that hill on the other side. We need to go visit our land over there. We ain't been over there in a while. Yeah, nothing's changed, I promise.
That was different. It was. No different. Yeah. That was several months ago. And I've done a whole lot of sitting in my chair watching Criminal Minds since then. Training. That's a waste of time. I think we'd have better luck having a seat somewhere. Watching. You'd have better luck. I'd lose toes. Maybe you shouldn't have got on the pond. I need to keep moving. Maybe that's why we can't kill squirrels. All right, we're like one-tenth of the way there, man. Exactly. Over there, we walk up a steep hill and then walk right back down to highway level, go across to our front yard, and then we have to walk back up the hill to get the four-wheelers and back down. You left out the important point. The important part. Is there's no squirrels over there. We kill something while we's over there. Then we gotta drag it down the hill and over. Well, how big is something you plan on killing? Hey, now I'm afraid knows. to go over there with him. <laughs> All right. Let's go. You're the worst hunter ever. Let's go over there where the squirrels are. Yeah, there are. Come on. Yeah. Come on. See? Wasn't this a great idea? Yeah. It wasn't. Huh? It's an enormous waste of time. This is where the squirrels are. This is where the absolutely nothing is. But we never walked up this trail. I could have gone without walking this trail. There's nothing going on over here. You're just There's out of shape. Going on this ain't bothering me at all. What makes you think we jump a rabbit over there? But the squirrels are over here. The squirrels. We've already walked through a mile and a half of hardwood. I've not seen a single squirrel. All right. Since, since you're such a good sport and agreeable to come along with me on this hike, we'll go this way. Man, this is high. Look at Peak's Peak over there. It's down there. Wow. You can have a wand right here. Get a 300 wind max sighted in right there. Ooh, yeah, we can kill the deer on, on that side of Peak's Peak from this side of the highway. I wonder if that's against the law to shoot across the highway like It that. most definitely is against the law. I talked him into coming to this side of the highway. We're pretty sure we just saw a squirrel over there. I tried to tell him all the squirrels were on the other side. Wasn't nothing to do. He had to come over here. That right there, that's wet boot. Probably gonna be cold boot soon. I don't think I lost any toes yet though. Shame. Why are you gonna be so mean? You know you've enjoyed this hike over here. Not exactly. <laughs> Can you eat pine cones? I've always said if I had to rely on my survival skills, then I would die. I can catch fish. As long as I've got a, a loose Mach 1 and some missile baits, D bombs. Boy, sure enough, look at that. Got him a pine cone. That's right. Man, we're eating good tonight. That's a squirrel refrigerator right there, buddy. How's the pantry looking? Looks like there's some acorns back in there. Oh yeah. Right All stocked up back in there. Rabbit tracks just go right down in there. <laughs> and the bobcat tracks go right across the top of the log. Oh yeah they are. Yeah. That's awesome. Come on, old man. <laughs> I just don't want to go down with my gun and land on it. It's pretty steep. I don't, you can't really tell on camera just how steep, but. That little dot on the other side is our property on the other side of the four lane. And we're pretty sure that this is how the bobcat goes back and forth. Man, I'm gonna tell you right now, if I was an animal, that's where I'd live. I can feel warm air, but I ain't crawling through there. Can you see light at the other end? Oh yeah. 
See that hike wasn't so bad. Oh yeah, not bad. Now all we gotta do is cross back over and climb that hill to the top where the four-wheelers are. That bobcat goes right through the woven wire. Just right through a hole. Yeah. And back on piece piece. For every paw print going forward, it's one right behind it going backwards. I mean, maybe it just went up and back. It's walking too, like, it must be walking like one foot right in the same footprint. They, right well, no, I'll tell you what it is. It's got one backwards foot. <laughs> I mean, I've done all this hiking with my camera gear, all my equipment for YouTubing, and you're complaining about your gun. That's a lot of walking. Seems like we should have killed something. There's a squirrel right there. Oh, get it. I'm hungry. All right, now due to YouTube's policies, we don't want to show the killing and cleaning of the animal on video, so we'll cut straight to the cooking. Must have been a big squirrel. No animals were harmed in the making of this video. <laughs>